Hello coffee friends, my name is Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner. Welcome to this episode. Today we're going to take a look at how to overhaul your Alka pump. Now we're going to do this in a DeLonghi Dedica, but this can be done in many espresso machines because many, many espresso machines which use a vibratory pump do use an Alka pump. And over time, there are a couple of parts that do go bad or wear out rather. So here I've ordered this set. It's a little tiny plastic ball, 3.9 millimeters in diameter and a small gasket. We're gonna open up the pump and replace those two items. So if you've seen some of my previous episodes, my DeLonghi Dedica EC680 is not providing a lot of pressure anymore. All I could reach was seven bars. So I want to take this kit here. I got it for about five euros. I believe you can get this all around the world for about the same price. And I wanna see if we can get back up to uh, between 10 and 15 bars. So let's see what we can do. Now you may also ask yourself, why not just replace the whole pump? The pump is not expensive. It only costs around 15 to 20 euros or dollars. But I figure why throw the whole pump away when you can just replace these little parts here. So that's the objective of today's episode. Let's go into uh, the workshop and take a look. All right, now I've got the machine in part. And what we're gonna do is just release this clip there to get some easier access. Just pull that hose out. And now we can lift the pump with the OPV or safety valve right up out of there. I'm gonna remove this hose here so that we can twist the OPV off. I'm gonna undo a screw over here. There is a screw holding this spiral spring down. So now I can remove that. So I should be able to, aha, uh -huh, remove the whole pump. Now, we need to access the pump, which means we need to get this rubber part off of there. The part we're trying to access is underneath here. It kind of looks like it's all one piece. Hmm. Well, that part came off a little easier. So now we can just unscrew it. Okay. Set that to the side. Well, I guess I'm going to have to remove this bottom hose as well. Let's see if I can just pull that off. Oh yeah, that should help. There we go. Okay. All right. We have to remove the wires as well to get this up and over. Okay. So light brown on top. Hmm. There we go. Dark brown on the bottom. And there's like a thermistor in there, which we're going to carefully pry out. Try to get some glue off. There we go. Okay. I've freed the pump. Remember, it goes on like that. So that is the pump right there in Ulka Model E Type EP5, 230 volts, 50 hertz, 48 watts, two, two per one minute. I think that's the duty cycle. All right, and now to get to the inside, you just have to unscrew this. Ah. 
I am using Milwaukee tools. They are my favorite. Okay. Uh huh. And there is a, a little knob right there that we have to twist off. Oops. Oh, look at that. Okay, we have to just twist that up and off of there. Oh, and <laughs> there's still water in there, so make sure not to open it above your electronics like I just did. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And there we go. There's the ball. And there's the, uh, the gasket. Left side, black gasket. Right side, little ball. Let's put that little ball over there for now. Let's remove the gasket. Put the new gasket on. And put the new ball on there. That is how it goes together. Just like that. All right. Otherwise, these gaskets seem to be in pretty good shape, so I think I can leave those and put this back together. Line it up, and that's that. All right. So um, I'm very curious how thick this old ball is. The new one is 3.9 millimeters, and the old one is actually also 4. Hmm. Okay, so I guess in this case the ball was not necessarily the problem. Maybe the gasket was. We're going to put it back together and see how it operates. Of course, make sure everything is dried before putting the unit back together. Drop my pump off. Good. Stick the spring back on. I'm going to put the thermistor back in. There we go. Dark brown on the bottom. I believe that's how it was. Screw the OPV back on. We will slide this rubber vibrating part back where it belongs. Put the hose back on, that discharge hose from the OPV. Good to go. We will reconnect the hose that goes from the OPV here back to the heater. Put the clip back on. Okay, now we can put the rest back together. Oop, I nearly forgot one part. This spring here has to first of all get oriented and then go underneath that, that screw that's down there. See if you can see that screw. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. Get in there. Oh, you son of a gun. There you go. Sweet. Okay. So, guys, I have a couple of videos showing how to take apart and put together the DeLonghi. 
Uh, the first time is with the Ranchilio mod, which you can see on this machine. Uh, second time is replacing the OPV. So please check out one of those videos uh, for that information. Okay, I'm going to put it back together and then give it a test. All right, here is the moment of truth. Let's see if doing the pump overhaul made a difference before I was just getting seven bars of pressure. Let's see what I'm getting now. Oh yeah, look at that. 11 bars of pressure. And then it stopped because of low meter apparently wasn't uh, moving anymore. That's what the DeLonghi does when it notices there's no more water flow, then it stops the pump. But it did make it up to 11 bars. So this little kit here with this little ball, with this little gasket, that makes that much of a difference. Pretty cool. Yep. Just over 11 bars. Very, very nice. All right, guys, I hope that this video has helped you today. If so, please drop me a like and uh, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.